Good evening. I'm going to see if I can't get an answer out for some of you guys yet before we go to bed. Hence the kind of sloppy hair. Just got out of the shower. Got to, still getting used to my readers. Um, yes, I have 20-20 vision, but I can't focus on anything within three feet. So glasses are not here for you. They're for me because um, everything's a blur within three feet. Sorry about that. So question is, I got a 7,500 watt, you know, 7.5 kW furnace. Uh, duct heater be the same rule, by the way. Uh, so 7,500 watts at 240. Yes, 208 changes things. That's cool. We'll do that on another video. Like, let's just talk about the question half for right now. So, 7,500 watt heater, rated at 240, being certified 240. What is the minimum wire size? What is the minimum conductor size? That's the question. So, I'm in Article 424. And 424, you'll notice fixed electric space heating equipment. That's where you need to be. Go down here to dot 3B, branch circuit sizing, fixed electric space heating equipment, and motors shall be considered continuous load. So, when we say continuous load, uh, that is something that can run for three hours cons constantly. So, like office lighting, for example. And some of us, that's where that 80% rule, oh, well, breakers are only good for 80%. Well, yeah, only if it's continuous load, dude. Um, I, I can run all sorts of stuff otherwise. But we're going to treat it as continuous load. So that means that our breaker, notice it's actually not the conductor. It's the breaker that's limited. The breaker is limited to 80%. So... Uh, you'll notice the wiring says, yeah, you're limited to 80% of the wiring unless you have a breaker that is rated for continuous duty, which, by the way, they have continuous load breakers out there. You will pay more for them. You'll pay considerably more for them. They do exist. So if we've got a 80% um, uh, limit then, uh, let's do the math here. I got my little, I got another little calculator here, so we'll do... Let me clear this out so you can kind of see the math. So we got 7,500. We divide that by 240. And if you kind of look at that. Ah, it's probably backwards. You know I hate these phones. Who designed these damn things? So 31.25. Um, 31.25, 80% of that. So now I take that divided by. Here, let's go back here equals divided by 0.8 so now I'm at 39 and change so there's my that's where my 40 amp breaker is coming so I gotta have a 40 amp breaker minimum okay 40 amp circuit for this thing so then we swing back to 310 and you guys remember the ampacity table right okay so the idea was running 10 2 they're talking about Romex well Romex says I gotta stay in that 6 degree column I can't exceed it I can derate from the 90, but I got to get back to the 60. So let's go down here. 10 to Romex. Hey, I'm only 30, dude. You can't, you can't pull this off. This is not an air conditioner. This is not a heat pump. This is a fixed electrical heat equipment. So 40 amps, I'm at 8s. Well, I'm going to run THHN or THWN in, in a raceway, or I'm going to run MC. Okay, well, I'm going to be limited to 75, even though the wire's a 90, because I won't have any connections that exceed 75. 10's only good for 35, 8's for 50. So, bottom line is we're stuck with the 8's. Um, the, uh, the breaker, if I go buy a square D, if I go buy a, uh, a, a Cutler Hammer, a Siemens, um, a GE, they're gonna be, the terminals are going to be rated for 60 and 75, so I could use the 75. But once again, 75 and 10's only gets me to 35, and I need to be at 40. So you're going to be 8's. Whether you're running Romex, whether you're running MC, whether you're running THHN, THWN, and some sort of a raceway, uh, it, you're stuck. You ain't gonna get by with tens on this thing. Um, and if I'm if I'm their home inspector, I'm gonna have a field day with you. You don't you don't want me near there. So if you're telling them they can live with the tens, you're opening up your butt to a bit of liability. You might want to talk to your attorney about that. If he disagrees with me, um, you might want to find a new attorney. That's not legal advice. I'm just saying. Uh, code book says eights, 
on a 40. Live and learn. Um, we will talk another time about what happens when you serve a 240 volt um, heater with 208. Uh, my parents' condo is that way. It's a 10 kW, 240 rated, and we feed it 28. We get a different rating. We we'll talk about that later some other time. So right now, let's talk about this. So summary: 40 amp breaker, wires number eight, equipment grounding conductor number 10. Your 82 Romex, your 82 MC will have a number 10 ground in it. That's solved. Uh, if you're pulling it in a pipe, you can just pull a number 10 green. You're fine. If you upsize your ungrounded conductors. Uh, to sixes, because, you know, hey, I'm all in for big wire. Yeah, uh, better markup, guys. Um, if you put in bigger wire, remember your equipment grinding conductor also must be proportionally increased, and that's going to be at least the size as well. So my name is Matt Hermanson. I'm CEU Solution in Iowa. If you got any questions, uh, tag me on Facebook, and uh, we'll do our best to answer it. Otherwise, hope you have a great day, and uh, sorry about the long winded Sorry about me not knowing how to use this phone very well. But someday I will learn.